again. Uh, today again, we're going to cover the North Carolina Ready End of Grade Assessment Mathematics, Grade 6. This time we're going to cover box and whisker plots. Um, before you begin, if you have a chance to go to the Brain Camping website and do the box and whisker plot um, activity, it's a great kind of run through on how to do them and it kind of visually shows you. Otherwise, we're just going to kind of go ahead and go over all the different parts. So basically, box and whisker plots, it has a box and it's got these little whiskers here. And the purpose of it is to summarize a large set of data. So we're going to take all these numbers and just kind of get it down to five points. So remember that the five points are our minimum. And we've got our first or lower quartile. We've got our median, which of course is our middle number. We've got our third, our upper quartile, right there. And our maximum or upper extreme is right there. Okay, so we're going to get this down, and the first thing that we need to make sure that we do is organize all the numbers from least to greatest. The nice thing about this is they've all been organized from least to greatest. So remember when you're finding the median and you organize it from least to greatest, all you need to do is find that middle number. So the first thing we're going to do, um, we're just going to see that the minimum and the maximum are what the chart says. So here we've got 1, and here we've got 20, and if you look at all your answer choices, we've got 1 and 20. For all of them. Okay, so we can't eliminate any answer choices yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the median number. And we need the median number to be at, right here in the middle there, needs to be at 7. So we're going to go through and we're going to try and chop off some of the answer choices. So we've got here and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that gives us 5 on either side. We've got 7 here, we've got 7 here. That's going to match with our 7 there. We've got the same thing here for the median. In between 6 and 8, if you add them together and divide them by 2, that gives us 14 divided by 2. That also gives us 7. So we're not going to eliminate that one yet. If we do the middle number here in between 7 and 8, that's going to give us 7 and a half. It didn't say 7 and a half, it gave us 7. So we can go ahead and knock this answer choice out. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we see that in between 6 and 6, it's going to be an average of 6 or the median of 6, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. So we've knocked down two of our answer choices by looking at the minimum, the maximum, and the median. Okay, so now once we split this in half, we're left with two sets of numbers. We've got a set here, and we've got a set here. So all you need to do to find your first and third quartiles are find the medians of those sets. So in between here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. It's an odd number. So when we cross those off, we're going to get five in the center. Okay, and we see that five's here. So this one checks off there. We've got here, we've got seven, eight, 13, 19, and 20. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to cross it off and cross it off and cross it off. And we see that this is 13 in the center. So we're going to see if this is 13. We've got 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, we've got a match. Okay, so this one checks off as well. And just to double check that we didn't mess anything up, we're going to check here. And if you see in the middle here, we've got 5. But in the middle here, we have 14. And that's not what it said. It said we needed to have 13. So we can go ahead and with confidence, go ahead and cross that one off and see that it is definitely answer choice A. All right, so we're going to try that again with another problem. Okay, this time it says the data below represents the number of books that 12 students read. We've got all their 12 scores here. We want to know which box plot, plot correctly summarizes the data. So again, the easiest thing to do is double check that your minimum and your maximum values are the same. So when I go look at here, I'm noticing the numbers are pretty close. So I just want to see if they're separated by ones or by twos. And I see that's one, two, three, four, five. They must each be separated by 2. So this is 2, so that checks off. And this is 32. That one checks off because we've got 2 and we've got 32. So I do the same thing here, same thing here. Those are all checking off. This is a 2, and that's a 32. All right, those are all checking off. And that's a 2, and that's a 2. Okay, so our minimum or maximum or lower in our extremes aren't going to help us out. So now we need to find that median number. Okay. So we're going to count. There's 12 students. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's going to break our number into two sets. Okay, so I've got the lower set and I've got the upper set. All right, so let's find out what this median is. So the number that goes in between 12 and 14, we know is going to be 13. Okay, so let's check to see if the median's at 13. If not, we can cut off some numbers. So we've got here, we've got 10, 12, 13. All right, so this one checks off for 13. Again, 10, 12, 13. This one checks off too. We've got this one here. We got 10. Oh, this one's right at 14. And we said it was going to be 13. So this answer choice is gone. All right, let's check for this one. We need it again to be at 13. So we go over here. We got 10, 12, 14. Ooh, that's way off. Okay, so we've now at least got it down to two answer choices. So that's great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the medians of these numbers. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need to get 3 on one side, 3 on the other. We need to get 3 on one side, 3 on the other. All right, this one's going to give us, in between 7 and 8, it's going to give us 7.5. And this one here is going to give us 20. The 20 is much easier to find, so I'm going to look for that one first. All right, let's see. We need that this point here needs to be at 20, and I see that's not at 20. That's at 18. Okay, look over here. Aha, it checks off. Okay, and just to verify, I'm going to check that this is kind of in between that 7 and 8, and this one, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Yeah, this one checks off here, but again, it did not check off here. We want to make sure it checks off here. So we've got two, four, six, eights in between six and eight. So this checks off. So all four, five points check off here. So C is going to be our answer. Okay. So again, with box and whisker plots, you're just finding the middle number, creating two sets, and finding the middle number of that set and the middle of number of that set. And that's all there is to it. Okay. So let's see what this last one is. This time they're throwing in which box plot represents a set of data with the largest interquartile range. So let's see if we can remember what the heck that means. So we've got interquartile, we know quart means four. And if you'll notice that each box and whisker plot creates four sections. One, two, three, four. And no one said they all have to be equal. Most likely they're not going to be equal. Okay, so we want that enter, and we know enter means inside, okay, and quartile just means the, the quarters. Okay, we want the inside quarters, and range, that is the highest subtracting the lowest. Now, that's not the highest minus the lowest of the minimum and maximums. We just want to know how wide the box is, okay? We just want the inside chunks, just these parts here, okay? So we basically wanna know how big is your box. We wanna know which one has the biggest or widest box. So to do that, we're just gonna use our number line. So we see that we've got 23 and we've got 28, so that gives us one, two, three, four, five. We can go here, we see that we've got 25, 1, 2, 3, 4. We can knock this answer off. This one here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to knock that one off too. And this one goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so I can answer now with confidence. The one with the largest range is the fact that it's this one because it's 7 apart. Okay, so interquartile, we want the interquartile, it's the intersections there. We just want to know how big is the box. So there's a wrap up of box and whisker plots, just summarizes it in five data, put them in order. You want your least, your greatest, your middle number, it's going to create two chunks, find the middle number of the first chunk, find the middle number of the second chunk, and you're done. Hope this was helpful and we'll see you later.